I told you guys, this is where Jack Sparrow used to come and hang out all the time, man. These guys are pretty, pretty badass. You know, it's saying here, imagine children climbing these trees. This is a bay rum tree, right? So children climbing these trees uh, to, pick, to pick and cast down the shiny leaves to women gathering them below the chimney and the cooling cistern behind you. Where I guess would be right that thing. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, part of the uh, leaves of steam and precious oil is extracted in St. Thomas, the oil... This oil was uh, was combined with rum and other alcohols to make St. John Bay rum a popular aftershave <laughs> a popular, and toilet water. Wow. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, regarded as the best in the Caribbean, it was shipped worldwide at a time when there was little other economic activity on St. John Bay rum. Leaves are not related to the bay leaves used for cooking. So, I mean, these guys are pretty smart people to, to come yeah. up with such. Yeah. I mean, they use rum, you know what I'm saying? Rum, I, rum, you know what I mean? And they turn into aftershave. Isn't that pretty kick ass? That's pretty bad to the bone. Some guy could come home from the bar after drinking rum and say, oh, that's I just have to shave. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You know what I mean? So, I mean, they created an economic bubble right there just by, you know, taking rum and turning it into aftershave, which is pretty bad to the bone, if you ask me. So, yeah, man, if you don't, you know, so you got to have vision, you know, folks from hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they were obviously intelligent folk that just came up with some pretty kick-ass ideas. They turned rum into aftershave. That one, that one's beyond me, but it's a good cover-up story like my man just said. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, you're, if they're out late hanging out at the bar or something, they can just say, hey, blame it on the aftershave, you know, not blame it on alcohol, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty interesting, man. So this is obviously a rum distillery, I guess, from back in the, the late 1800s uh, slash 1900s or whatever. So even back then, they were getting fucked up. You know what I mean? They were getting wasted on Kill Devil. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it, isn't this like, aren't you seeing like some of the most badass lighting as I'm shooting this video? As it's just coming out through the leaves and everything, it just it just feels so serene and so this comfortable. This right here behind me used to be in a state house. So some rich dude, I guess, probably just, oh, this is pretty cool. So it says in the late 1700s, in early 1800s, a, a modest wood and mace, masonry structure on this site was a home to, of Cinnamon Bay. Estates owners and managers, it was the last occupied in 1968. Wow. The baking oven is located at the right to the east of the house, which is over that way, and I'll take you over there in a second. There were few great houses on St. John. Incomes were here were marginal at best, uh, precluding lavish dwellings. Many estates employed overseers who lived, the modest, who lived in modest abodes and acted for absentee owners residing on St. Thomas or abroad. Wow. So 1968. Oh, that's the oven over here? To the east. But ain't east that way? That's west. That's west? So yeah. east is this east way? This way. East is that way. East is that way. How is east this way? You want me to pull my compass out? Yes. Tortola is that way. So Tortola is east? East, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the oven's so got to be over here. That, that's, probably what we're that's probably what that was. We're going on a jungle adventure. Yeah, we're taking it Barney style to see what we can see. There's nothing sitting in the bushes but big old ruins. Where's the treasure at? You know what I'm saying? Where's Jack Sparrow's treasure at? I'm walking up this trail. Wow, this is some pretty cool looking trees up in here though. 